Alright, so what I'm going to demo is the new app that I have installed on my iPad, which basically will control all of these servos. For demo purposes, this is hooked up right now to my Optima Blue Top. Um, there's the switch, the power distribution, and so I'll turn this on right now. This here converts all of my power from 12 volts down to 5 for this particular board. Um, this here is the Wi-Fi device that is broadcasting out the wireless signal to the iPad. So in the iPad itself, if I go into my settings, go into Wi-Fi, the R2-D2 comes up as an option, so I'll select that. And now I come back to the main screen. From here, I can choose the R2 Touch app. This here controls all of the servos. I think before I can do that, I gotta set that up first, real quick. There we go. The light is green right here, indicates that there's a connection to. The Wi-Fi, which is going through the servo board. These are the servos here. So from the app, I can choose the panels that I want to turn on. Right now, I only have five servos, so we'll say one, two, three, four, five. Now, all I should need to do at this point is open them, and you can hear that they have opened, closed. So now I'll show you as I am pressing them from a little bit farther away. Open close. So right now those are the only five that I have hooked up. Those, as you can see, here's the dome top panels one through five and those will eventually open up these panel holes that I have cut out of the dome recently. Eventually I will have not only those five but we'll also have the ability to turn on each of the hollows on the top as well. Those aren't right now aren't connected to anything, but eventually they will be this hollow right here, the one that's missing there, as well as the one that's in the back. Um, future modifications will also include the logic displays. Right now these are just randomly blinking, but in the future I'll be able to actually type in a text here and have it say whatever I want on that screen. I haven't started working on that. That'll be a future modification as well. I just wanted to show right now where it stands right now with the servos, and then eventually I'll have an update with those mounted in there with the panels opening, hopefully next week or the week after that.